I'm ZooTapTap, and last time on The Fall, we successfully escaped the bartender and his complications. Hello, humans. Which way is Ops? Hello. Uh, hi. Hey, how would I go about booking you for my dejected buddy here? Contact <laughs> the... Uh, no, no, no offense. I wouldn't like that. What happened to you? I don't want to talk about it. Whoa. This guy? Used to be a total. I said, don't talk about it. Oh. You should go. <laughs> I'm just a robot, guys. A gregarious fellow. His badge says, "Come." That's right, Parker. A sad man upset about his drink. His badge says, "Ops." This man looks uncomfortable. His badge says, "Engine." Whoa. Please, just leave me alone. Pfft. I don't know, something about the humans just is weird. Humans like to feel connected to nature, even here in space. It's always a starry night in space. So romantic. <laughs> as far as I haven't seen more, like, fake trees and space stuff, I guess... I don't know, how much organic matter do you really need to feed a tree? I don't know. I don't know how practical it would be to have them in, but I guess, you know, you could simulate solar light fairly easily. And they, they do produce oxygen, which is useful. But I don't know how self-contained you can be. Team is like to feel connected to Oh, that's the same thing. The servant elevator. What is this? This area is off limits. She didn't do the creepy I'm sorry that time. This guard has stern posture. <laughs> is that a human this guard? Area is off limits. Sorry. <laughs> See, I'm used to seeing humans like that. Well, not even humans, because Aerith didn't turn out to be a human. But, like, yeah. <laughs> You're guarding a room and, like, a random sex droid pops over and, like, um, what? Hello. Responsibly guarding the elevator. Hi. What are you doing here? Oh, I know that voice. You're not safe. Please, please go away. What? What's I'm the major? reason for her concern. Why am I not safe? He could come back at any time. Standing around to talk about it makes you less safe. What? What danger? Lure her away from the elevator. Why don't you go call on me, big girl? Oh my. Uh, <laughs> uh, I can't. I'm working. You have to go and hide. Access my target. May I go down to Ops? What? What? No. Why? No. You have to get out of here. Persist. Um, why not? Because you definitely don't have clearance? It doesn't matter. Go hide. I Why hide? To you, and I don't want to end up like Gareth. What? Something nasty is happening here. Operations. This must be the e elevator Aaron wants to go down. The medical room. I hope nobody's been hurt. A holographic display. Designed to pacify. Humans are so creative. I actually kind of like this inventory thing. Like a lot of, I think a lot of, um, in fact we had this happen in the fall one. Um, they wouldn't let you do stuff if you didn't, um, if you didn't gather certain information, you can't perform certain actions, even if you have all the necessary components. Um, so this kind of, like, lets you use the fact that you know a thing to activate another thing. And it also, it very much fits, um, I like how the, the inventory items are very fitting for each of our hosts. The butler pretty much just gathered trash. That's like all we ever picked up. He picked up trash and like serving items. Um, and then the I am one thing, you know, he only picked up things to, uh, you know, he didn't want to pick up anything, but he only picked up things that are like, you know, the crude, uneducated, non-edgy things that the many are interested in. And then she picks up on like emotions and you know, connections between people. Oops. Something bad happened to Gareth. Who would we ask about that, though? 
The waiting room is comfy. A gurney. Thank goodness it's empty. Medical information about the crew. Treatment history, psychological profiles, and psychological condition. They endure so much. Various sedatives. This could be useful in the right situation. <laughs> yes, hello. Control lady with hypodermic needles. Joy. Nitro and other blood pressure treatments. Painkillers. Allergy medication decongestants. Parker, I know. Antipsychotics and mood stabilizers. Anti-inflammatories. All right, so I bet we have to see if. Oh, no. Sifting through human malfunction without reason is undesirable. Something that I thought maybe we could ask. Maybe we have to ask one of the humans first. But I figured we would like look through and find if he like had a syringe inserted up his urethra or something. I don't know. What happened to Gareth? Gareth? Nope. Oh, oh, that's Gareth. Wait, why did bad? Nope. That's Gareth. Gareth? Nope. <laughs> Did, uh, he must have got his ass beat or something. Did he get his ass beat Gareth? too? Yeah. Oh, that's Gareth. Never, never mind. <laughs> Are you okay? Sorry to be rude, but you've done enough. Please stop talking to me. Wow. Poor guy. He may have pertinent information. Interrogate this Gareth. I don't think he's able to help us. We could try to help him. Ugh. Then he will I have us. fuzz on my thing. Something is troubling Gareth. Is the chair. Gareth is turning away from the light and squinting. He's got a hangover. Gareth's temples are red from rubbing. Gareth's boots are untied and his shirt is untucked. They're just thrown on. And what's this one? Gareth has isolated himself from the noise and conversation of other patrons. Yeah, he's got a hangover. Oh, okay. Let's get, um... Oh, I get it. We gotta go get what he needs from the medical thing. Okay. He needs some painkillers. Alright, what, what do we have again? First aid. Hypodermic. <laughs> Let's give him some needles. Uh, blood pressure. Eh, probably just painkillers. Uh, what else do we have? Allergy medication. I think he has allergy. Anti-inflammatory. Antipsychotics. I mean, maybe. But sedatives. Do you want some sedatives, Gareth? Oh, I can't. Okay. Yeah, like I thought. Got a hangover, need some painkillers. Are you even supposed to do that, take, like, painkillers? Because, like, aren't painkillers bad for your liver and, like, booze is also bad for your liver? I've never really had a hangover so bad I wanted medication over it. Huh? Wow. Uh, you didn't need to bring these. Feel better. He looks orange. Uh, hold up. Focus on the human. Attention to the human. I have How did you get that awful headache? Double shifts in the engine room. Oh. A punishment. For what? Look, I like you. You're a good time. I told the visiting admiral he should give you Whoa. a go. Thought it would ingratiate. I never got a call from any visitors. Good. Because he found the thought of you despicable. Oh, no. Not technically against protocol, so I was mostly reprimanded. But you are not crew. Hi. What? Oh. I told him you were one of the service bots, but he will find you. What the hell? What's this dude's problem? Make him escort us to Ops. Like, she's kind of skeezy, Would but you like, Jesus. Take me to Ops? Look, I'm grateful for the pills, but I won't be caught with you. Understood. I should focus on you. <laughs> God. Locate this admiral. Where is the admiral now? You need to avoid him. With any luck, he's sleeping. He rarely sleeps. <laughs> when he can't, he comes out here and watches. 
I wonder if he's got like a, a, a thing against AI in general. Disengage. Bye. Thanks again. You really should hide. I am not safe. Neither am I. I'm sorry. <laughs> the elevator guard does not want this admiral to perceive you. She fears to lose me. But the admiral does not know your appearance. I suppose. If the admiral were present, the guard would deny knowledge of you. There would be no excuse to prohibit me from ops. The admiral has insomnia. Let's get some sleep meds. Obviously, I'm just dressed like a nurse, so I can just walk in and give him the sleep meds. Sedatives. Give him the most powerful. Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean that would not be useful? That we're just gonna, you know, inject some some sweet sleeping pills into his eyelids. That's how you use those, right? Hello. Hello. Go on. Oh, the Admiral has insomnia. How do I use this? I could talk to the, the other guard. Oh, 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 he's the guy that's sleeping. He's the sleeping, oh, calm, calm. Barker did that cat thing where he suddenly, he was sleeping, like laying down, he just suddenly jerked up. It's okay. Yeah, I bet it's downstairs. We gotta wake him up with that stereo thing, I knew it. It's kind of weird. The, the game kind of got easier as it went on. The the um, the butler thing I felt really was the hardest thing because the whole loop situation and having to find the right break point. I don't know, maybe it was more obvious for some people than for me, but uh, just what it seemed like. And I I um, I did have to do a couple, like, pause and uh, go figure out what to do in the last dude section. But those were, like, less than a minute off screen. I just, like, you know, looked around. I, it was a pretty contained area, for one thing. Um, but, yeah. Let's wake up this jerk butt. Get some, some tunes up in here. Oh, yeah, it's my jams! He's gonna go murder whoever is in this room now. Well, the Admiral's gonna go kill somebody. <laughs> I love the green CRT. We have complete, you know... We have all-out uh, AI and everything. I, I guess part of like, the, the thought of that and, you know... In sci-fi, is that oh, it's a utilitarian computer, so you know it's going to be you know all like you know like that. But like in reality, utilitarian software. I mean, other than stuff for programmers, that's be all fluffy and you know I deal with lots of financial software. I mean, that's uh, utilitarian and um, you know security camera software and all that crap. But I mean, everybody likes a good user interface, and it's yeah. yeah. Right, let's find out what the uh, what the Admiral's gonna do now that we have awoken his wrath. I'm gonna try not to like immediately die. Because he has some kind of grudge against prostitute bots. I don't understand exactly what the deal is with that. It's always a starry night in space! But why are they in space? There's no reason for them to be in space. I'm sorry. I have to. I have to reference that that strong sad quote every time that a game is in space. Uh oh. The visiting admiral looks tired and irritable. He must avoid dying to him directly. Hello. She's got a five head too. Uh, Everybody's stranger. head. Stranger. Uh, um. Run. <sighs> He's got the hell of a little speak. Personnel only. Oh no. Are you part of this crew, miss? Um. Do you work here or not? I 
do. I, I do work with this crew. Then go put on your damn uniform. Oh. Can I give him some sedatives? Oh. What's this? That's elevator objective. <laughs> Am I not in a worse My solution situation? Prohibits me. He just was an ops. I don't procure uniforms to the Admiral Edmontus. I I don't understand why you why this was useful. A member of the ops team, and you will seduce them. Oh, okay. You will okay. seduce their uniforms, securing access to Joseph's and the user. Sex makes people happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. It's a bit of a non sequitur, but all right. Let's go make somebody happy. <laughs> well. Uh, next, next video, we're gonna make somebody happy, I guess.